so I got a request to uh, run this Herco program apart and actually run it. So just I went in there and drew up this little part here. And I'm just gonna show you guys how cool these Hercos are the best I can. It, it might the CRT might come across kind of bad on video, but we'll just give it a shot anyway. I've already got the material set up. I can show at a later date how I set up without using probes. I use an indicator, but I'll do that in a later video because it's a video in itself. So let's go ahead and program this little guy. Okay, so I want to go in here to my part program. I'm going to just delete this that's in there already. And I'm going to look at my part and just kind of see what I want to do first. So I need a face millet. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to part program, milling, face. Then I'm going to use my two inch face mill, which I know is tool 23. Go in here and check my fees and speeds. You can use surface footage. It's just, it's awesome. So let's see, I'm gonna run it 1,000 surface feet per minute, 5,000 per tooth. So, okay, we're gonna give it some dimensions. So now I'm gonna show you how quick I can mill around this part by using mill frame in this Herco. So I'm gonna go milling, I'm gonna do a frame, and I'm gonna use, let's just use my half inch in mill. And I'm gonna go on the outside frame, and it will use cutter comp. So we don't have to worry about any of that. And two and seven eighths by one and an eighth. And it's got an eighth inch corner radius. And we're gonna start it there. And we're gonna go down 600 feet. And let's speed it slow so it'll crash. And then once again, every time I program something, I can hit draw and I can see what I just programmed. That's really awesome. And then I wanna run that chamfer around there. But I'm gonna wait to do that because I also wanna chamfer around my counter bore hole. So I'm gonna wait and use the chamfer when I do that. So I know I need to spot drill a couple holes. So I'm gonna get my center drill. I'm gonna go down and we'll just go 50 thou deep and feed it pretty quick. It's aluminum, high speed center drill. Let's see, I'm gonna put some dimensions in here. And two, three, one, six. And there's my two spot drills. And then I can just copy that. Copy that program, that block. And we're gonna go put a drill. Drill a number seven drill for a quarter 20 tap. Make sure my feeds and speeds are okay. Yes, they are. Then I'm gonna go, and we're gonna drill that. I'm gonna delete this other location because I don't wanna drill that one. I wanna drill only the quarter 20 hole. And then I need to do another hole. So I'm gonna do another drill. And we're gonna use this drill. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna do a chip breaker instead of a full retract because it's a bigger drill. And then we can, we're gonna do a helical mill and mill the counterboard on our bolt hole. So I'm gonna use a 3 8 end mill and we're gonna put in an X location. We're gonna leave Y blank and let it calculate. And we're gonna call it a helix up here. And we're gonna go counterclockwise because we want a climb cut. We're gonna go 313 deep. We're gonna give it our centers, X and Y. And then the radius is gonna be 2 
150. And then we're going to give it a leaf. So it's going to cut 30 thousandths every time it goes around. And then we need to give it an arc at the bottom so it doesn't leave a ramp at the bottom of our board. And then we can go over here. Look at that. There's our counter board. Okay, now we need to tap, rigid tap, and number four, we're not going to go all the way deep, all the way through it right now, I just want to show you what this thing can do, and I think we have our part, oh, we, need, we still need to run the chamfer, I forgot about that, okay, so, we are going to do a mill circle, use my chamfer tool inside, 2.316.692, radius is 250, let's do 40 thousandths, okay there's our chamfer around our counter bore, then we need to do a chamfer around the part itself. So we're going to do outside again on a mill frame. That's all right. 875. And let's go. Let's just do 40 on that too. 40 thousandths deep. And there it is. Now, I know that the newer controls are Windows based and they are touch screen and the whole nine yards, but I believe they operate the same way this old 30 year old control works so i need to make sure my coolant's on and i also need to make sure it's on in the control too sometimes i turn it off for whatever reason yep it's off on my face mill make sure it's on it's off on that make sure that's on and yeah, should be on for everything. Okay, now we're gonna check this thing for errors. It says there's no errors. And we're gonna hit run program. And we're going to push the green button and watch very closely to make sure we don't crash. 